In the titles here, you have the option to add scroll text to your timeline. Scroll text at face value might not seem interesting, but here I'm going to give you a couple of tips that will make scroll text pretty interesting. If you click and drag, you will drop a scroll text clip in the timeline. If you scrub through, you will notice that you have the word title. You select your clip. This is the content of the text going from outside the clip on the bottom to outside the clip on top. And if you mark it and you play, you will notice that the duration of the scroll is equal to the duration of the clip. Just makes sense, right? So if you increase your clip here, then you will increase also the duration of the scroll. Give it some time to render and it will be excellent. Now, this seems like, what are you going to do with this? First of all, you can change the text, of course. Unfortunately, the text is not a rich text, meaning if you have multiple lines, all the lines will have the same formatting from the formatting over here. Let's change the text first. Let's write awesome jumps. And then you can choose another font. I will take Antonio, not good at all. I'll go back to Arial, that's cool. Okay, and it's normal here. You can change the font size. Now it starts to get interesting when you play with the alignment. If you center it, for example, the text is going to scroll in the center of the clip from bottom till top and until it exits. You can add also some shadows. Let's do that. Let's add some very simple shadow, just like this. Okay, just to see the clip. Now, the background color here is very interesting, but it does not scroll. So you add the background height and you notice when you scrub through, it's not going to scroll. Well, that's very good because there is a very useful application for the background. I'm going to put off the background for now and add the text here. I'm going to copy it from outside. I'll do copy, come over here and do paste. Now, if you play, notice what's going to happen. From outside the clip, you can now tell a very nice story of what's happening. Simple and easy to work with. But now, it's still not very interesting. How about if you come to the on-screen controls? And of course, you know, you can stretch down your clip, okay? And just, you can put it over here. If the text is too small, for example, now, I'll put it left alignment. I'm going to stretch it down, okay? You can just increase the size of the text. Now it's becoming a bit more interesting. Uh, I think I went too far, okay. Now, if you play your clip, the text is scrolling according to the binding box of the text clip. And that's becoming more interesting now. Let's see what you can do with the background. I'll go back to the on-screen controls. And I think this is cool. Okay, let's make it a bit smaller. Just like this. Make the size a bit bigger. So I'm adjusting it. This is the story of five guys. So I'm at the limit. Maybe I'll make it a bit smaller. Okay, let's also center it in this case. And then let's come and put on the background. I showed you a tip before. If you put one and one, it will fill the clip. Here you are. Now it's full on the clip. If you don't want any corner radius, you notice there is corner here. You can just put it off at zero. So you have a just a square or a rectangle. I'm going to give it the value, a very small value. Okay, just like this. And now if you play, it's becoming much more interesting. You notice, guys, so you have a highlighted area where the text is scrolling in. Now, that becomes a bit more useful, and that becomes, you know, up to your imagination, and what can you create with that? So, this is how to use the scroll text. Now, in DaVinci Resolve, as a rule, please be creative. Please always try to find out what can you do more. Thank you very much for listening for this amazing scroll, and I will see you in the next lecture.